fall. I am deeply concerned about the impact of recent actions by the government of India on the human rights of Kashmiris, including restrictions on internet communication and peaceful assembly, and the detention of local political leaders and activists. While I continue to urge the governments of India and Pakistan to ensure that human rights are respected and protected, I have appealed particularly to India to ease the current lockdowns or curfews to ensure people's access to basic services, and that all due process rights are respected for those who have been detained. It is important that the people of Kashmir are consulted and engaged in any decision-making processes that have an impact on the future. The recent National Register of Citizens verification process in the Northeast Indian state of Assam has caused great uncertainty and anxiety, with some 1.9 million people excluded from the final list published on 31st of August. I appeal to the government to ensure due process during the appeals process, prevent deportation or detention, and ensure people are protected from statelessness.